The full forward line at the moment is uh, Jake Dillon for, for WIT. The whole full forward line has come out around half forward in midfield, and I really think that that's very much with the intention of, of just trying to suffocate Tony Kelly around midfield for you. Well, that's some sideline ball by David McInerney, but it is rescued and cleared. Langton, though, it's overcooked towards him. Comes into the path of Kevin O'Brien. Kevin O'Brien lets it go, but that's going to drop and drop well short. Jertian from Greg Bally Callan and Kilkenny finds only Dara Quinn. Dara Quinn likes to run, likes to shoot, gets plenty of height on this one. Will it drop over and will it drop accurately? It's going to drop dangerously. Oh, it's cushioned in or has it? No, it's just about cleared away, but the danger is still there. Some of the Limerick players think it's gone in. They're arguing with the umpires. Well, they might be better off playing on. Barry Kelly is going to go in and have a look. Initially, to the naked eye, it looked like it had dropped in. That was a very funny one, but I, I definitely saw the net rattling. Uh, or should I think the goalie kind of caught it and it went straight up uh, just inside the crossbar. And the net definitely rattled. I think that has to be a goal. Well, it's one of the most bizarre goals that you'll ever see in hurling, but it is a goal, and that's all that matters from a UL point of view. And now they have a massive advantage. 1-4 plays three points midway through the first half. That could be a massive turning point in this game.